Okay, guys, I'm here today with Lucas Lepper, huge honor for me. And guys, we just shot an entire structure with Lucas about the science of guard passing. I think nobody can argue that he's probably the best guard passer guy out there, right? Guys, he won the words five times and he closed the one as well. So he won pretty much like the words six times. And the, he's the one who broke the records on his, his division. Nobody has won the words this amount of times as he did, so he's the best one in history on his division. And what's really, really impressive is that all these words that he won, most of them he barely got scored points. So he won, I think last year, for example, he won and nobody scored point against you, right? Well, yeah, 2017, so, right? Yeah, 2016 and 17, both years. Yeah. So look at that, guys. In 2016 and 2017, nobody scored points on him, right? And what's very interesting about his career is that the first time he won the Worlds was in 2007 and then he didn't win like 2008, 9, 10, 11 and then he won again in 2013, 14, 14 15, 16, 17, 18 and with the, people was, were not even scoring points on him. So today I'm going to ask him some questions here about like how does he do that, right? And the, most of the times when you watch he, he fight, he's always passing everybody's guard, but how he never gets swept, you know, like, so today we're gonna talk exactly about this. How is his base when he's on top? What what does he do when he's on top that nobody is able to sweep him, nobody is able to set up any type of guard, and this and that. And all this, this instruction that we shot today, the science of guard passing was all about that was all about like how he set up his positions before his open, how he gets his passing without even giving a chance for his open to defend that. So, very excited to learn from Lucas one more day. It was Bernard, thanks so much guys, thanks so much for uh, for everything, you know, was, I'm pretty excited to, to be here once again, like, you know, uh, with you, recorded, and, uh, and be filmed as well for BDJ Fanatics, you know, it's gonna be really nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's talk a little about you know about the the basics. You know, yeah. uh, that's it's important, guys. You guys understand that. You know how to control the balance. You know is important. It's important also to to see the positions. You know, even further. You know, and see like what your opponent try to do it. You know that you can stop before that. You know, but to be able also to manage that, like, you know, how you're going to put the pressure, how you're going to release the pressure, how to switch one side to the other, all that stuff, like, you, if you connect everything together, that's going to, like, you know, help you to, to increase your, your, your balance, you know, and understand, like, where you should put your weight, okay? Uh, and then also the levels that you put yourself is important, that matters, okay? So if you keep yourself on the same level, it's going to be easier for your opponent to start to stop you, okay? Let's imagine that I'm going to, you know, try to push Bernard over here with one, one level. If, like, I switch my level and at the same time I'm going to go to the side, it's going to be really hard for him to block me. But if he does... I go and switch again and go to the knee cut. Let's say that, you see? So, and then let's say he's gonna put, you know, the knee shield over here and block me. As I'm putting the pressure, as he start push me back, I go and switch to the other side. You see, all that's gonna help you, you know, to have a good base, okay? Plus, also to, to be able, you know, to be like, uh, if he push me back, if he be able to go, look, I, I'm gonna follow him. What he wants to, to, to do every time that I go, I guess it, and then I'm gonna fall, right? So let's say he's gonna push me. I let him push me and come back. You see how I'm releasing the pressure and come back my my pressure on him. You know, so to be able to do to don't be like a rock is important. If I stay too tight with him, let's say. I'm here, I'm tight. He's gonna go sweep, I'm gonna fall like a, a ball, right? If I'm here tight, and then he's gonna try to go, I go and come back. You know, always like try to manage that, 
right? So every time that you see he wants to do something, try to follow him and come back to the other direction. You know, so that you can surprise your opponent and uh, it's going to be much harder for him to do something with you, for sure. Yeah, guys, I think this example that he just gave me here was awesome, right? Because if he stays stuck here like a stone, when I try to sweep him, look, he's already falling. So look how awesome it is. When I try to sweep him right now, he's going to follow the move, look. And he's not even spending too much energy to do that. And now he's going to do the next move he wants to do, look. And then he gets next position. So, and look, it's a quick question, like, and when you're on the top, let's say you're just with the shadow here, not even an open. how do you stay, like, your lower back, your legs, is there any secret here? Yeah, so like, off? you know, like, a lot of times, you know, it's like, I keep my, my head down and my hips up, you know, if I stay here on the same leg, if you push me back, I'm gonna fall, right? If I have my head down and my hips up, try to push me, look at that, that's good, you know, and then I can move my legs easily, okay, then I stay just with one place and on the same level, so I keep my head down, my upper body goes down and my hips goes up, I stay like this, see, it's so hard for him to push, look at that, I go and come back and then I move side to side, see, Right, so that is like you know, a huge, a huge uh, uh, change on the game when I start like studying all these like you know, this uh, this balance, okay, and start like how I'm gonna co co connect this, you know, balance with the pass. How I'm gonna start you know, and don't lose the position as well. So and start combining everything, you know, that's the key, right? Connections plus. You know, uh, the base, you know, and then you're going to be able to and, pass, you know, very... And uh, just thinking here, like, can you say that this type of connections that you developed, it's what made you win, like, all these words? Because you won the words in 2007, and then you didn't win, like, 2008, 2009, 2010, 11. And then you start winning like every single year again from 2014 until this year. So do you think are those very little connections that you developed that... Yeah, so the, I think like the game that I started developing you know, all these years, like, you know, to be precise, to don't lose the, the positions, to get a better base, you know, and then like when my opponent mistake, I don't let him, you know, come back anymore, you know, so all this for sure you know, is making a huge difference on my game, on my results, you know, right. so. And guys, one thing I like a lot about Lucas' game is that, for example, many times you see those, I'm a heavy guy, right? So many times when I see these lighter guys playing, there are so many, like, uh, complex details that they do that I don't think everybody can apply that. But the things that Lucas does, it's very simple. So it's something that I think everybody can do it. Even if you are the heavy guy, if you like to pass a guard standing or even if pressure as well, it has all those pressure type of passings as well. So I think it's the type of game that everybody can do. So I think it's gonna work really well for all you guys, all his concepts. So very soon you're launching, it's gonna be called the Science of Guard Passing. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Os Lucas, thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. hope you guys enjoy. Os.